welcome back to another vlog. Again, starting the vlog in the car, of course. Got Santana hanging out the window. We get stopped to get some gas. And we got Layla coming up front. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. It's hot in here. We got all the windows down because it is scorching hot. So we have to stop and get some gas because we are on our way yet again to go see the Harlem Globetrotters. Yeah. We actually surprised the kids again this time because I, I don't know if you guys have seen the vlog where I surprised the kids going to the Harlem Globetrotters. So we surprised them again this morning and told them they were, we were going to go see them again. So I'm excited to take them to go see that. It's kind of funny because the other day, I don't know if you remember, Layla was like, "There's I see commercials and billboards everywhere about going to see the Harlem Globetrotters. How about the Harlem Globetrotters coming they're coming. Can we go? Can we go? And that, by that time, I had, I had already bought the tickets. And I was like, eh, I don't know, you know, tickets are expensive. I don't know if we can go or whatever. But that whole time, we had tickets. We had tickets a long time ago. You didn't even know. Oh my gosh, she's so obsessed with these poppets. Can I show them my poppets? Sure, go ahead. So I'm using my poppets that I have. I have a lot more. Girl, why do you have the sweater on? It's so hot. <coughs> This medium popsicle poppet. This gum ultra rare legendary poppet that I definitely did not get from Five and Below. This dog poppet. Mm -hmm. Don't sit on my pop. <laughs> I have this cotton candy circle poppet and this and this unicorn dingle. Can I sanitize for my life? Yes, let him sanitize his hands. So yes, guys, we are on our way. I'm starting to sweat, it's so hot. We are on our way to Harlem Globetrotters. I'll show you some footage of that, but I'm really not gonna be vlogging there. And then after that, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Probably grab some dinner or something. I don't know. I don't know, we didn't really have plans on what we're doing after Harlem Globetrotters, but stick with us, because we will be back. All right, guys, so I thought I'd get back on because there's a lot that's, that has went on since I last vlogged, I think. Like a lot, a lot has changed. As you can see, my hair is growing. We're still doing the natural, and it is growing, and I'm loving it, and I'm loving that it's growing quickly. We're going on a little trip. I can't tell you guys where. I'll be sure to vlog that. But Santana was in basketball camp, and Layla was in dance camp. Right, guys? Yes. Right. I still miss camp. Yeah. Can I, say, can I tell them something? Sure. What do you want to say? And guys, did you realize we got a car crash? No, they didn't. That's what. That was one of the other things I had to tell them. So yeah, guys, we got in a pretty bad accident. I mean, thank God everybody's healthy, everybody's okay. This guy, not so much as far as pain in his back, and he's actually doing therapy for his back. So it was a pretty hard bang to the point where my my truck is totally gone. Miss he misses it. He talks about it all the time. So we had to get a new car, which, you know, it, I'm not complaining about a new car, but we do miss the old car that we had. But I, I'm just grateful that everybody's healthy, everybody's okay. And even though he's doing therapy for his back, he's still okay and healthy. And, and, and everything's good. So yeah, I mean, so much has happened since um, you know, we've kind of picked up the camera to vlog and if we've just been in the hustle and bustle of life and businesses and camps and schools and the accident and we um, actually also, you saw the vlog already where we went to the beach. That looks like our car. Look, he's still talking about this car. He's not going to stop talking about this truck until yeah, he forgets about I, the truck. This car is better, but I still miss it. I know, I know you miss it, buddy. Yeah, we have a lot going on, a lot coming up, and I'm definitely going to be sharing all of that with you guys. But, as I said before, we're on our way to go see the Harlem Globetrotters. We have a... Yes! Don't they have a theme, they have a theme song? It's the Harlem Globetrotters? Yeah. Isn't I it don't like, know. I think of like old school, like... Do, 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 da, 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 da. They do have a theme song. They do. They do, yes. Oh, to bring your the uh, the Harlem Globetrotter ball you got last year. Oh, I know we didn't bring. Well, it. we can still get a ball. I knew he was gonna say that. This boy will buy a basketball. He loves basketball, so he'll buy 
Anywhere he sees a basketball, he'll buy it. It's like a collection of... It's like $80 ball. <laughs> Probably two, cost like $2 to me. I know. The ball's... It's like a collection of my FGT. Yeah, he loves collecting things. When he gets one, he wants all of them. Which... He that's crazy. Balls. He used well, to... Collect worms. He used to collect... I, I like ladybugs and worms. Ladybugs and worms, yes. There's a lot of bugs. Not ants because some bit me. Because mosquitoes. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> anyway, guys, we'll see you guys at the Harlem Globetrotters. Gang, gang! A few moments later. So this is Jake's ice cream. We're gonna go ahead and get some sorbet here. All right, guys. So we are done with Harlem Globetrotters. How did you guys like Harlem Globetrotters? Good. Good my, my wrist. Santana got some wristbands. And you got a ball. Uh -huh. Layla I have ha one. Yeah. Layla, how did you enjoy Harlem Globetrotters? <laughs> I know I caught you at eating your ice cream. How did you enjoy? Good. Yeah, guys, so we're at this spot called Jake's Good Foods. This is a pretty known ice cream spot here in Atlanta off of the Beltline. And we decided to come because this guy has never been, but he's heard about it. And we kept telling him we wanted to bring him. It's pretty good. I you give like it? A plus. What'd you I get? I got the strawberry lemonade sorbet. Mm -hmm. I'm not really Mine. like a sorbet, like, you know what I mean? Like, I usually get the ice cream and smoothie, so pretty good it's something different yeah it's really good he got the sorbet too and I'm sharing with him and it's delicious and what'd you get I got max magic kisses oh and it hers is hers has like white chocolate in it but it's blue but and marshmallows and marshmallows I ate them all she got Max's magic kisses and it tastes like but it's frozen vanilla it's frozen. It tastes like vanilla? yeah to me it does and it has like white chocolate in it and it's blue and it's blue, yeah. They probably put like coloring in it or something. Oh yeah. Yep. So we hanging out having some ice cream for now, right guys? Yeah. Is my time blue? Let me see. Yes. Where am I? It's regular. Alright guys, so these are the flavors of today. We have the chocolate slap yo mama, the Buddha finger, ruby red grapefruit oh, sorbet. That's what Layla had right here. Those are the flavors of today. And then over here, I guess these are the uh, the juices. Looking good. Oh, this is, what is this? Lingering Shade Social Club. So this is the belt line and we're just gonna walk a little bit. Santana's upset because he, he doesn't like to walk at all. So I think the skate park that you guys normally go to is down there. Right, Ziggy? And this is the belt line, so a lot of people just walk from here to all the way down there. So we're not going to do the belt line. We're just going to kind of walk and just enjoy this Saturday. Hmm? Yeah, King of Pops. You just had Doug. Don't matter. We're not going to go far. You just had sorbet. I'm still hungry. You're hungry? You need to eat food then.
they just be whizzing through here and you feel like you're gonna get hit by something. So I just stay close to the wall. <laughs> it's either they gotta go around me. What'd you say? Sharp, yeah, be careful. So that's me. I'd be on that bike with music right there. Just cruising with some music. Just cruising with some music. Oh, we should go over there. Oh, it's a vintage market, Ziggy. How lucky did we get? I love vintage stuffies. Oh my god. We're gonna go check out uh, this vintage market over here. Go out. Yeah, we're gonna go check out this vintage market right here. And then you never know. It's a pop it type of place. Let's and that's a kid, see? You bring your bike and do that. You have a boom box? I have a speaker. Jurassic Park lives. Jurassic Park lives here. Jura it lives here. Guys, Jurassic Park lives here. <laughs> This is where um the lady puts the food down here. Oh uh, no, when they oh. feed him the cow. I know, in the T Rex. This is it right here. This is it right here. Wow, that's crazy. I don't see any dinosaurs oh either. Come on. Layla's so fascinated by this kid on his bike. Excuse me. Let's go check out this market, see what we can find. I like the Elmo helmet. I love the Elmo helmet. The Elmo helmet? No. You dare me to touch it. No? I'm going to touch it. You're going to get in trouble. Boy, get, leave, that, uh, leave that Elmo helmet alone. It's so soft. Oh, wow. I'm in, like, heaven. <laughs> look at that Mr. Potato Head down there. Oh, my gosh. Look at the guy from um, Looney Tunes. Where? Where? Don't, okay guys, don't be touching everything now. That's the guy from Looney Tunes, son. I know. What's his name again? Lauren. As you guys know, look at this guy's shirt. Turn around. Show him. <laughs> and look at my shoes. Yeah, we are Looney Tuned out, Space Jam out. Daddy. So that's why I got excited What's about this. Name? I forgot his name. I'm the roughest, toughest, he man, stuffest homer is ever crossed the Rio Grande, and I ain't no name. What? Wow. Yeah, guys, if you don't remember, one of our first videos we showed, we have a, um, we own a vintage store. We haven't really been too active on posting and promoting and stuff. We've kind of been on the low with it, not really doing much, but we're still selling off of it, and we do sell pretty often. We just haven't been pushing it where we could make more sales, but um, spots like these we love because this is where we, this is kind of how we get our product. See, like 98 Broncos sweaters is so hot right now. The Lacoste, that's pretty fly. Just showed Santana the shirt, he went crazy. Okay. 96. The old Simpsons. Oh look, Zig. Ziggy. Oh my gosh, more vintage loonies. Look. This one's cold too. This Santana, he's hot. Guys, this kid will take his shirt off anywhere. It doesn't matter. She's posting them hot. You're hot, I feel you. Sorry, I'm sick. We are back home and sent it. What in the world? We are back home and okay. I'm You're doing it on purpose. It was hot out there, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, it was really hot out there, but it was nice to go to that vintage market and and. Harlem Globe Potters and get some ice cream and sorbet. But we're back home and Santana is putting his new ball to the test. 
How's it? How's it? Is it making buckets for you? How's it working? It's doing good. It's doing good. It's doing good. Sorry, my mouth. Oh, okay. So it's not the ball making the buckets. Is it, it you? It is because it's super. Oh, okay. Like Michael Jordan. Huh? Make sure you go um, watch Space Jam and <laughs> we win the song. Yo, he loves Space Jam and he loves the we win song that's on Space Jam. It's also on the soundtrack. It's on um, Lil Baby and Kirk Franklin. That song and that movie have been played over and over. How do you know that? How do you see this? Because I saw the name. Yeah, but I know by now. I mean, we listen to it so much. I, you know, I looked it up and saw it was Lil Baby. Plus, it sounds like Lil Baby. But anyway, that's crazy. Because Lil Baby, I heard, was on the number one gospel charts. That song is number one on the gospel charts, so that's crazy. But it's a dope song. And I think, who produced it? Just Blaze? Yeah. Just Blaze produced it. So, yeah, we are chilling. We're about to work on the um, kitchen yeah. cabinets. We gotta put these doors on our kitchen cabinets. I mean, from the cabinets to the countertops to the backsplash and everything. We're, we're doing that. We're, we're switching and painting and doing all of that. So now we're just gonna put these cabinet doors up. Now make sure you get this nice ball. Because I can do this. Comment down and below if you guys know I could do that. What you doing over here, Layla? You're cleaning the in. Ooh. And I stepped in mud and it went through, but look. Oh, that looks better. So Layla's sitting out here cleaning her crops. I did the air force, even though I only wore them. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was cleaning her um her Space Jam Looney Tunes. These kids are obsessed with keeping their shoes clean, not wearing them dirty, but these crops are dirty. Look at that. I have been dirty for a them. minute. What made you just want to. Cause I was washing my, painting my yeah, air they're forces. pretty. You gotta put new um, what yeah, are these gibbets? <laughs> they're gibbets, right? Are you sure? We have like yeah, a, I think so. We have like a whole bunch of gibbets in a bag. Yeah, we have a bunch of gibbets that we ordered on Amazon, so she can just kind of clean these up and then replace them. Just put some new ones, right? Like I said before, I'm going to head inside and start working on these cabinet doors. And I guess I'll get back with you guys later on tonight or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and work on these cabinet doors because I have to get that vlog out, vlog out for you guys. And I'm really trying to get this done. It's actually been a long process. I still have to do the countertops, the backsplash. I mean, we still have a lot left to do. But if we just stay focused on it, I think we can get it done in a timely manner. We kind of slipped on it. But now I think we can get it done in a timely manner. So... So I've reached the point where I'm going to put the hardware on the cabinet doors and drawers. They're all painted, two coats primer, two coats paint, on all the doors, all the drawers. So we're going to go ahead and put those back up today. So these are the accessories that I bought. These are the pull handles for the drawers and the doors. I feel funny saying that over and over, but yes, drawers and doors. And I got them in all black. And then this smaller one is for the smaller cabinet doors that are kind of located at the top. Like these are really small and there's some up here. You probably can't see, but when I put them on, you'll see them up here and up here. They have like a smaller door. So I figured they would look a little bit, these would be too oversized. So these are, we're gonna go with these. And then I also got brackets of course you need your brackets and you want your brackets to match your your pull handles and everything so the brackets are also in black so I ordered everything all of this I got off of Amazon um, this is the Ravinte cabinet hardware and I think I got I don't remember how many I got but I got enough to fill up and extra to fill up the to put in the doors and I also got and I think these are Ravinte as well, I believe. These are just the smaller ones, and I got a five-pack because I only needed four. It's, it's like four doors. And then for the brackets, I also got on Amazon. I, I think these are like 50 of them because you need three brackets on each door. So I got 50 of these. Um, 
yeah, so we're going to go ahead and put those on today. And then after that, we're going to continue upgrading this kitchen, get this countertop going, get the backsplash. I have to paint behind the refrigerator. And then after I'm done, I'm just going to go ahead and paint up until probably here for the kitchen and focus on getting the kitchen together. And then we'll go ahead down the hall, do all the other stuff, laundry room, which then leads around the corner to the basement. But right now we're just going to focus on the kitchen. So let's get started on those cabinet doors and drawers. Hey guys. It's uh, the tool guy here. What's going on? Hey man. I'm recording. They see you. <laughs> <laughs> ah. It zoomed in on your face, Daddy. Come here, Liz. Show them. Oh my God. Show them. Show them your face. What? Look at the people. Say hi. We working. Look at this. It's a family affair, baby. All right, guys. So this is what I have done so far with the help of hubby and daughter, of course. <laughs> These are the new hinges. So I love them. And we put the uh, handles on the drawers which look amazing as well so I can't wait to finish and show you the finished product but we're gonna go ahead and continue on with the remaining shelves all right guys so we got the cabinets up and now we are putting on the handles I love it I mean, it has completely like changed the brightness of this kitchen just by painting the cabinets white. Everything came out exactly how I had imagined it to look. Um, there's still a lot of work left to do in this kitchen, but the first phase of getting this kitchen, you know, just brightening it up and renovating it and doing this ourselves it's done like it is complete all in all everything really 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 worked out and i'm just loving how this kitchen has now transformed into like this brighter kitchen this this can be done in no time the time frame that this whole kitchen was done was in about a week honestly you can get this done within three days. As far as painting, priming, that takes a while too. You have to wait for the liquid sandpaper paint, I guess that's what you could call it, to dry. Then you have to do each cabinet and you have to do them twice front and back. So that took some time. And then you have to paint them two coats front and back. So that took some time. So give, uh, maybe not three days, but if you're free for three days and you have nothing else to do, no other responsibilities, nothing else to do, you can complete a kitchen yourself in three days. Like, for real, for real. Let me give you guys a closer look of how the paint looks and how the cabinets look. All right, y'all, so here is the bottom half of the cabinets and the drawers painted on. I mean, the paint quality of it, I don't know if making it even closer would do any justice, but I mean, it just turned out really, really, really well. Everything just looks really nice, really clean. There's not a big shine on it. It's, it's just, it's not matted, and there's not a high gloss. It's sort of like a semi-gloss, but a really low semi-gloss, which I actually really like. 